The resurgence of Farah, the Bakshabad Dam, and the vision of a new Afghanistan. In the heart of the arid plains of Farah province, where the roaring Farah Rood River has carved its path through dry earth for centuries, a long-held dream is finally taking flight. Here, amidst the rocks and dust, a steely resolve has risen to change the course of history. That resolve is named the Bakshabad Dam, a project that is not merely a concrete structure, but a symbol of Afghanistan's transition from an era of drought and dependency to one of self-sufficiency and prosperity. For years, insecurity and foreign interference stalled the wheels of this project. Today, however, Farah is witnessing a massive leap forward. The most critical phase of the operation, the construction of the diversion tunnels, is nearing completion. These massive structures are designed to redirect the river's flow, clearing the way for the construction of the dam's main body. Officials report an impressive progress of 90% to 95% in this sector. Mullah Abdul Latif Mansour the Acting Minister of Energy and Water, has described this progress as faster than initially projected. Most importantly, this marks a historic milestone. For the first time, such a complex engineering feat is being spearheaded by Afghan engineers, specialists who are paving the way for water management using local cement, steel, and expert excavation. The ultimate goal is the construction of a dam 81 meters high, capable of storing 1.33 billion cubic meters of water. This vast reservoir will spark a revolution in the country's southwest. Upon completion, over 68,000 hectares of thirsty agricultural land will be irrigated through canals spanning 50 to 52 kilometers. This signifies the end of suffering for farmers who have watched their wheat and barley stocks wither for years. The dam promises a surge in crops such as cotton, melons, and grapes, bringing Afghanistan closer to food self-sufficiency. Furthermore, Bakshabad's blessings extend beyond the soil. It has the capacity to generate 27 to 72 megawatts of electricity, which will light up Farah and its surrounding districts, providing the foundation for regional industrial development. In today's world, water is more than just the essence of life. It is a strategic commodity. Afghanistan possesses rich resources with approximately 75 billion cubic meters of surface and groundwater. However, the staggering reality is that of the 55 billion cubic meters of surface water, a vast majority flows into neighboring countries, while Afghanistan utilizes only a small fraction. The construction of the Bakshabad, Kamal Khan, and Salma dams sends a clear message to the world. Afghanistan is determined to protect its water rights. While Iranian officials have raised concerns regarding the 1973 treaty, the Islamic Emirate emphasizes that severe droughts have caused crises even in major Iranian cities. Consequently, managing internal resources to provide drinking water and irrigation for the Afghan people remains a top priority. Experts warn that by 2040, the world may face water wars, and today's management is the only way to guarantee the survival of future generations. The construction of the Bakshabad, Kamal Khan, and Salma dams sends a clear message to the world. Afghanistan is determined to protect its water rights. 
While Iranian officials have raised concerns regarding the 1973 treaty, the Islamic Emirate emphasizes that severe droughts have caused crises even in major Iranian cities. Consequently, managing internal resources to provide drinking water and irrigation for the Afghan people remains a top priority. Experts warn that by 2040, the world may face water wars and today's management is the only way to guarantee the survival of future generations. Development is a linked chain. Where there is water, there is an abundance of produce. Where there is produce, the need for standardized cold storage becomes vital. In regions like Maidan Shar, Efforts to build 20-ton cold storage facilities have begun. This ensures that fruits like apples and tomatoes are preserved and managed locally, rather than being exported at low prices, only to be re-imported at a premium. This creates jobs for the youth who previously sought livelihoods abroad. Simultaneously, the scent of change is in the air on the streets of Kabul. The arrival of electric motorcycles, which operate silently, without smoke and at a very low cost, signals a drive toward modernization. These technologies, some of which are assembled within Afghanistan, are steps toward reducing air pollution and improving urban order. The 430 million Bakshabad project is not funded by the government alone. A portion of the costs has been raised through public contributions. This reflects a nation that believes deeply in its infrastructure. From the laborers forging steel in the heat of Farah to the engineers working tirelessly over blueprints, everyone shares a single goal, the prosperity of the homeland. Even in education, such as the Institute for the Blind, Efforts to empower every segment of society are underway, for education is the bedrock of any great transformation. Afghanistan today is no longer a mere consumer nation. Every stone laid in the bed of the Bakshabad Dam and every turbine that turns heals a wound on the body of this land. Water management, cold storage construction, the rise of green energy and job creation for returning migrants are the puzzle pieces forming the image of a new Afghanistan. We sit upon a treasure of water and minerals. It is time to use these assets through proper management and perseverance to eradicate hunger and unemployment. The Bakshabad Dam is just the beginning of a journey, a journey at the end of which Afghanistan will shine, not as a needy nation, but as a regional granary and energy exporter. The water has found its way, and this nation has found its path to growth. Eyes are now fixed on the horizon, where Fada turns green, and homes are illuminated by the power of our own rivers. This is the will of a nation to change its destiny.